All right, so we are out here today doing a little bit of herping, looking for some different salamander species here in Columbus, Ohio. Certainly, uh, two key species on my list today would be things like uh, northern ravine salamanders and uh, basically like northern or even southern two-lined salamanders. We're actually near a uh, creek area back there and lots of your salamander species, your lungless salamanders at least, like to stay near bodies of water. So this river, this uh, system of water, whatever you want to call it, this body of water, every now and then it's going to flood and it keeps areas around here moist. And great thing about this area is that it is being managed, at least to some extent, by the uh, local department of wildlife or whatever you want to call it here in Ohio. So they take these logs and every time they fall down, they chop them up and they scatter them around. And I don't know if they're doing this purposefully, but it actually creates perfect living conditions for lots of different salamanders and frogs and things like that. So they Basically what we're looking to do is flip these logs just like this and see if we can find any, oh, actually literally right there. Wow, almost missed that. So here will be the first salamander of the day, right there. That is a, hopefully it's okay, looks to be, yes, this would be a basically a ravine salamander, like a northern ravine. Salamander, these guys are a bit cold right now, I'm making sure he's doing all right. This is a pretty interesting species. They're pretty closely related to the, uh, basically like the redback salamanders and things like that. And this guy is really not moving too much. It is a bit cold today. So I'm uh, expecting that this guy is just, uh, there we go, he's starting to come back. Sometimes when you first catch him, you're like, you worry like, oh, did I crush it with a log or something? But he's just a little bit phased. He was just asleep and I pulled him out, but this guy actually has a partially regenerated tail as well, so hopefully he does well. And what I like to do is I don't like to put them under the log as I put it back, because you'll crush them just like that, so. Put this little guy back under his log and see if we can find some more. So, when you find these logs that are basically starting to rot away already, these are almost like a, a moisture how do you say it? These hold a lot of moisture, more so than the other freshly fallen trees that are more likely to be decomposing. And let's see if I can do this with one hand. Might have to put the camera down. Okay. So, let's see, there's something moving over there. I think that's just a worm or a night crawler. And sometimes you miss on things like this. I see roots, I see isopods, I see, all kinds of different things, but I don't see any salamanders. Nope, so I'll go ahead and see if we can flip this log back. Let's see. Nope, see, this is this is too fresh. This was just freshly put here by probably wildlife management, so this hasn't even, <laughs> literally the, uh, the plants have not started to die and decay yet, so that's not gonna be a very good one to flip. So here's another, Nice log. This is in a bit more of a sandy area, so I wouldn't expect to find too many under this, but oh no, never mind. We have some moisture. Oh, wow, not only do we have a couple, what is that? Wow, this was not what I expected to find under this. I thought this was gonna be too dry. So, holy cow, what is that? There's gotta be at least eight under here. What is that? Look, got one, let's see if we can zoom in. One, two, Three, four, five, six is hiding under there. And it looks like we have seven, eight. And these are all Northern Ravine salamanders. So this is even a better day than I thought. I thought this log was gonna be too dry to find any of these, but this is literally like a, oh my gosh, like a mass migration of these guys. Look at those northern ravine salamanders and these guys aren't fast at all they're not like the two lined or the oh, what do you other have the the two lined or even i think standard red backs are a bit faster than these but they're not you know red backs are pretty laid back as well but i mean look at that this is just this is so wonderful this is perfect and i really got to be careful because i don't want to crush these guys when i now close or when i put this log back down but i mean that's just what a fantastic species. Hopefully the lighting is coming out good on this as well. 
So what I probably want to try to do is, look at that little guy. These are just so wonderful. I wish they were a bit bigger. I'm really a fan of the, the mole salamanders, like the spotted salamanders and stuff. These guys almost look like miniature slimy salamanders. Let's see if we can get a good shot on the log. Just look at that guy right there. So incredibly beautiful, just that solid black. And then if we look at the belly even too, sometimes you can see eggs in these guys. Uh, I can't really see too much on this, but really, really awesome species. So literally, I mean, I just flipped this and I was not expecting this at all. I'm really concerned. Most of them have crawled into the leaf litter on the other side. So um, those guys are gonna be fine. I just kind of like to get them out of the way, make sure that they're not in harm's way when I go ahead and put this log back down. Like I said, I put those guys over there and I think they all moved. Nope, I think we got one straggler. Look at that. There had to have been at least, what, nine, maybe 10 under this. And again, when there's this many, it's just like, you know, I basically set them to the side, right like that. Make sure that I think we got all of them. Then I'll put this back down. That's the one scary part. You know, it's great when you find a log like that that has, you know, 10 salamanders. That's actually probably the best log of the year that I've flipped so far. But it's always a bit concerning because you don't want to smash any. Now, since this log had so many salamanders underneath of it, I would assume the ones over on this side would be the same. We're gonna see. Oh, let's see if I can get this big one. Wow. Nope, so it actually looks like this is a bit too dry. Unless I'm missing it and you guys see it on the camera. No, I think this is gonna be a bit too dry for the salamanders over on this side. The stream is actually that way, so you'd think this would be having more moisture, but I think because that kind of dips down a little bit in the ground, those logs over there are gonna be a bit more wet as far as the substrate goes, because if it's too dry, the salamanders will not stay there because they'll dry out, get dehydrated, and eventually die. So. It looks like we're just gonna have isopods and some small species of millipedes on this side. Maybe we can try some other logs over here because these guys are really cool, you know? I'm, I'm not the, as far as keeping these guys as pets, I'm not the biggest fan of the, what would you call, the lungless salamanders, like the two-line salamanders and species like that. They're not, you know, nearly the best captives. Things like spotted salamanders and uh, certainly tiger salamanders are great to keep in captivity. But these guys are still cool to catch and uh, I guess you could keep them if you wanted to and try to do a breeding project, but it might be a bit of a challenge to get food for that many small mouths. Okay, so let's see if I can flip this. Just about. Ooh. There we go. Normally I like to have somebody else to do this with me, but looks like this is absent of any salamanders as well. So it's like one of those things where once in a blue moon, you'll flip a log like we just did that'll have a bunch of ravine salamanders under it, but I don't even see any under this at all. I mean, I'm gonna let this log kind of just dangle here for a second. Yeah, it looks like this is just spider, isopod, and uh, what do we have? That's just a root. Yeah. Yep, so this is gonna be a no-go. Again, not every log you're gonna flip in this area is gonna have just, you know, 10 salamanders like that last one just did. But generally, this is a pretty good area for finding northern ravine salamanders and those kind of things. There we go. It's a big log. Again, trying to make this video as realistic as possible. You know, you don't flip every single log and just find something. But here's a nice one. So this has already started to rot. This is certainly gonna hold more moisture than a freshly cut dead log. So let's see if this has any. And nope, this is again, just too dry. There's a millipede right there, a little, I don't know exactly what species that is. But we have some millipedes, some isopods, but still, this is just way too dry for any salamanders to live under successfully. But like I said, that one log is just back there, so that had a lot. So I would think that other logs would be similar, but really don't know. 
So I think I'm probably gonna end this video off right here for you guys. Just wanted to show you some of the uh, salamanders that we have here in Ohio. I know I had some people asking recently, you know, are there salamanders in Ohio that you catch on a frequent basis? And during the spring and fall, this is one of the big ones, you know. It's probably gonna be about another month or so until the two line salamanders start coming out in big numbers. But if you live near Columbus, Ohio, you live probably uh, a bit south of Columbus, Ohio, or even a bit north, this area is just full of the ravine salamanders if you can find streams and bodies of water that they're going to be near not a pond not a lake not even a you know floodlands it has to be where there's moving water because this is how they reproduce this is how they lay their eggs this is how their larvae develop and finally become adult salamanders to go on and make the next generation but I hope you guys did enjoy and most importantly benefit from today's video. If you like this video, if you wanna see more herping videos like this in the future, be sure to give this video a like. Be sure to leave a comment down below and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next video.